Okay, so the Seder meal is now complete. We've eaten, we've had our matzah, we had the haroset, we've done the bitter herbs. All of the main rituals are concluded. We just finished the third of the four glasses of wine, which are part of the requirements of the Passover evening. And, and in the middle of that, at the end of the dinner, but before the ritual's over, we insert Kos Eliyahu, the glass for Elijah the prophet. And let me remind us, Elijah is the prophet who doesn't die. He gets whisked up to heaven in a chariot, and according to Jewish legend, he continues to visit us whenever we need that kind of strength and resilience and resolve to keep going in difficult times. And he's a symbol of the redemption yet to come. So he's placed appropriately. We've recounted the past. We've thanked for the glory of the present, which is the meal. And we're just on the cusp of the future. And at that moment, we all lift our glasses and we recite Eliyahu Hanavi, Elijah the prophet, Eliyahu HaTishbi, the person from Tishbi, Eliyahu HaGiladi, the Giladite, Mehera Yavo Elenu, Im Mashiach ben David, may he come quickly with the Messiah. So this prayer for the future, just after dinner, just before the last few songs and rituals. And that's really so perfect because our life is situated at the cusp of the present and the future. The present is perishing into a fixed and eternal past. The future, multiple possibilities, is coming to us and may arrive at any moment. And so here we are in that moment of hope, in that moment of multiple possibilities, in that moment of decision-making and vulnerability. There's a wonderful Hasidic tradition, Rabbi Naftali Tzvi Horowitz, who used to fill his Elijah cup, not by filling it by himself, but by passing it to all the participants of the Seder. And each would take from some of their own wine and use it so that the cup that symbolized redemption was a cup that was filled with everyone's contribution. I think that's so exactly right, that we all of us have to participate in this coming redemption. We all have to bring our best offerings, our best efforts in order to make it real. And then once we have this collective cup, then we offer our hope. May the future be full of brightness and health. May our loved ones thrive. May our world be a world of greater inclusion and welcoming for all people and all peoples. May this Seder be the beginning of the redemption for us, for our community, for our people, and for all creation. And may this cup be the start of something big something that engaged all of us, something that elicits all of our work and energy and persistence, and some of which opens the door into an unprecedented future. So may it be. Can you hear it so?